Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on another Friday's message. This is David Balliot, Coach David, and I'm excited to share with you a message of hope, a message of opportunity, a message of identity and purpose. See, we live in a world today that will distract you and will pull you in a million different directions and it's so difficult to go about life with a strong identity, kind of deciding who you are, what you're gonna be about, what character values you're gonna utilize as you go through this life. And so I brought a friend with me today, a soccer ball, who I'm gonna to use to kind of describe what it's like to have an identity and a purpose. See, this soccer ball was created to play soccer with. It's very simple, but I think a lot of times, see, if we've never heard of the sports soccer, had we never seen a soccer game, had we never seen a soccer ball, it's possible that we would use this ball to play basketball, to play volleyball, to play kickball. Maybe it would be difficult, but we could use it to play football. And the point that I'm trying to get is, though this ball could have an amazing life, creating, helping us create a million different, awesome, joyous memories, it would still go its entire life not fulfilling its purpose. And so what do I mean by that? The same thing can happen in our life, right? We can be pulled in a million different ways and, and still create good memories and live a good life, but never actually fulfill the purpose that we were created for. See, actually right behind me, um, I have a Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you. It ends by saying plans to give you a hope and a future. See, that hope and that future was designed for us from the very beginning as we were being formed in our mother's womb. So God knows and he has a specific identity for us to live by. That identity was shown to us through Jesus Christ. When he walked this earth, he gave us a prime, vivid example of what that purity was supposed to be and that connection between us and God that we lost through the broken world. Through sin is what the Bible calls it. But yet we have that reference. We have that guide in the Bible, in scripture. It's like having a rule book for the game of soccer all of a sudden. And so we can know really truly how to utilize this soccer ball in the same way we can find out how to truly be used and fulfill a purpose that God has for us. So I wanna encourage you. I wanna encourage you to seek out that purpose. In the same way that if we didn't know what this was, we could look up the maker of this soccer ball and ask them, what is this? And they would say, it's a soccer ball without hesitation. In the same way, through prayer, we can ask God, God, what is it that I I'm supposed to do? What purpose do I have? And I promise you, not only will he answer it, but he will be more than excited for you to start that journey with him. So I hope this message not only helps guide you in your identity and in your purpose as we walk through this world, but I also hope that it gives you hope um, that there is a purpose, that you do have an identity, that God does love you enough to give you a purpose. Again, plans to help you prosper and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I love you guys.